Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Energy First Golf. Today in this video, as you can see, the title, Swing Like Crazy. Um, the reason why I do this video, a lot of people always, uh, really a lot of my clients ask me, well, how do num world number one right now, Scotty Scheffler, swing the golf club? He's like all over the place. The truth is, remember, most PGA Tour players, most professional players, they're always in control with their body and they're always in control of the ball. Because remember, when you're playing golf, you're supposed to control the ball where the ball is going to the target. How does the ball go to the target? So the truth is, they don't swing crazy. So today, I'm actually going to swing crazy by Scotty Scheffler. So again, I don't have the perfect swing. My swing, matter of fact, is kind of ugly, but it's functional. As long as you understand internal mechanics and external mechanics. So today, I'm going to play a couple holes, obviously, simulation. And then I want to talk to you guys what I do. And it never looks like I'm swinging normal or just ugly swing. But it's functional. And it does what I want to do. And I'm going to talk to you what I do each shot. All right. So uh, today we're going to play this course called the uh, Aubrey Glen Golf Course. Uh, I'm going to play the back tees just so you guys know. So right here... Um, the red tees and looks like uh, course information is seven zero one nine yards, rating seventy three one forty. All right, so we're gonna go set up, start back nine. Uh, I'm not going to putt. All right, so let's play. So um, let's see what we can accomplish today. Here we go. The first hole, 431 yards, par 4, right? Um, looks like it's going to be a dog leg to the left. All right, so I'm going to swing crazy. I'm going to hit a low draw just to keep it in play. Wind, well, there's not, no wind right now. Uh, let's clear the, let's give it a little bit better lighting here. Afternoon, clear sky. 297 yards first drive. The hole is 430 yards. So, 26 feet downhill. I want to hit a low draw, but I'm going to choke down on it and swing crazy, right? I'm going to control the energy and release, but I'm not going to swing like just normal. I'm going to swing where... There you go. Again, I don't even finish. That was a low draw, got in the bunker, okay, so 269 yards, I got 166, tell you what, I'm going to use a 8 iron, 8 iron, I'm going to hit it, swing, I want to hit a high draw, so I'm going to put the ball forward, I'm going to use a block draw, and finish high like this, and see what happens. Okay. That ball really, really high. Okay. See if we get on the green. Boom. Oh, man. It didn't get 168 yards. All right. My eight iron. Uh, well, it didn't give it to me. So I'm going to, again, I'm not going to putt. But as you can see, none of those swings, I'm actually maintaining balance or whatever finish. I'm just playing golf. I'm thinking about the target and where the ball is going. Now remember, most PGA Tour players, they're always in control of the ball. They know what to do for the ball, right? And they, don't know, they want to know what they do and what kind of results. Now, are they going to pull off all the time? Probably not. But like I say, Scotty, the way how he plays, he's got a very good swing. 197 yards, par 3. 17 yards uphill. You know what? Since it's uphill, most of you will probably think you need the ball to go higher. I'm actually going to hit a four iron. I'm going to use a four iron, and I'm going to do a very low ball. Again, like I say, swing crazy. Okay. I'm going to still choke down on it. You know what? I'm not going to choke down on it. I'm going to put the ball back, and let's see if I can hit a low fade. I'm going to put the ball in the front a little bit, open my stance. 
That's a four iron. Look at that. I'm not even finishing my body. I'm all over the place. There you go. Got a hard bounce. Man. Right? Again, I'm all over the place. Swing like crazy. And, well, it's going to ask me to chip again. Man, you know what? Let's talk about this really quick. So, I got 16 yards. Uh, 18 Point three. I'm gonna try to get it close to the hole. Okay. So, ball forward. Not worry about where I'm stopping here. I'm controlling my energy and my flow. I'm trying to hit a flop. Open my face. Okay. Boom. Twenty-one yards, and that's fine. Again, I'm swinging like crazy. But the point you can see. I actually didn't swing normal. I got a power five coming up. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. Power five, five seventy eight downhill. Handicap index number one. I'm gonna hit a high draw this time. So I'm going to put the ball forward, open my body, really turn through. Okay, I'm gonna hit a high draw. Well, I couldn't pull off, but that was a crazy swing. I couldn't get everything. Obviously, it's downhill. Okay, good. And I fade a little bit. All right. So now I have 256 yards. All right. I'm going to try to, you know what? I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to aim at the water and to try to draw back with my, you know what? I'm going to draw back with my 5 wood. My 5 wood. Alright, here we go. Again, why do people do that? Because what if the wind is blowing from right to left, right? Again, I'm swinging crazy. Okay? Oh, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. <laughs> went in the water. I wish I could do it again, but that time I didn't do it. I could not draw the ball back. So I'm going to drop a stroke. Okay. So this is going to be very interesting. Now, I'm going to have 103 yards under the trees. Okay, well, I'm going to hit a low ball, get under the trees. I'm going to use my hybrid, get under the trees, try to fade in there. Narrow stance, put the ball back almost like a chipping stance. Oh, I hit it too far, right? Look at that, but the ball fly was good. You saw that, you guys. Okay? So it was a chipping stand hybrid. Alright, now... Let me chip it up there. Well, 15 yards. Let me do a block release. Get in the hole. All right. That was that hole. Again, we're not going to putt. But you can see the idea is, remember, every club, all your golf clubs just merely tools in the back. You have to learn how to use them based on specifications of each club. Now, 194 yards, par 3, okay? This is going to be very interesting. So I'm going to, there's trees, let's see how tight the fairway it is. I'm actually going to use my hybrid, it's going uphill. I'm going to hit a high fade, okay? I'm going to hit a high fade, so block fade, but high ball, and then I'm going to Try to fade in there and carry the trees. Let's see if I can pull off. That was a very high ball. Look at that. Woo! Boom! I hit it too long. It was my hybrid. So, uh, again, like I said, if you play golf, you're supposed to learn how to control the ball. There's no such thing as a perfect golf swing. Just like Scotty, 
You can say he's got a perfect swing, but he's in control of what he's doing. Just because he's all over the place doesn't mean he's not playing good golf. All right. So that was that. So you can see, I'm doing everything is not normal, right? It just doesn't seem like I'm maintaining balance. All right, last hole, 445 yards, par four. You know what? I'm actually, it's uphill. I'm actually, don't worry about distance. I'm going to hit a low ball. I'm going to, I hate the word hit, low ball. I'm going to put the ball in the middle of the stance for driver. I really want to compress the ball and get a really low. And I'm also not going to choke down this time. Okay. Probably need a little bit more distance. Here we go. Hover the club. <sighs> Look at that. Woo! That thing was low. Okay. <laughs> that was really low. Probably a little bit too low. But anyway. 229 yards uphill. Okay. So 229 uphill. I'm going to hit a hybrid. This time I want to hit a rip draw. Rib draw just to have fun. Aim way left. Rib draw. All right, here we go. See if I can do it. Ah, I couldn't pull off. I pull. I pushed it that time. Again, I wish I could do one more. Right. So that time I didn't do. I still. Thin the ball a little bit. All right, 58 yards downhill. Okay. So how do I control distance? Center speed. My core and center speed. 58 yards. Oh, hit the tree. By the way, still not a bad shot. 44 yards. But again. Do I normally play golf like this? No, not really. But the point is, oh, this is a good one. You know what? Let me play this hole. Par 5. All right, so par 5. You know what? I'm going to aim over to the... <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go that way, hit on the other side of fairway. Okay, hit on the other side of fairway. Which is a different hole. This is part five. See if I can make an ego on this thing. And I'm going to hit a high fade. Okay. Alright, here we go. <sighs> Woo! Man. I think I might hit a too much fade. It went all the way on the... <laughs> Right of the fairway. There you go. 254 yards. <laughs> Downhill. Ah, I'm going to use a three wood. Here we go. Tell you what, I'm going to hit a three wood low ball. Just for fun. I'm still going to hover the club. Not touching the ground. Okay. <sighs> Man. I pulled left a little bit. But that's alright. Left's better than... Right? Again, I don't play golf like that. But the point I'm trying to make is if you're in control of your body, which most tour players are, I have a, well, I grabbed the wrong club, 55 yard, 52 degree. I'm going to open it. <laughs> really open the guy under the ball. All right? So. Let's do one more. Okay. Now I'm going to put the ball back and try to run it up there. There you go. That was a 58 degree. Again, I'm doing this to demonstrate that there's not one way to play golf. But you do understand you need the correct rotational energy to play golf. Everything we're talking about, ball position, Body open, set up, plane control. All of those would be what I call the external mechanics, internal mechanics, a combination 
of both. All right? So, um, I can say, swing crazy, but not really. It's not really crazy. Everything is in control. Okay? Um, thank you for watching. And um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the v uh, button right here. We have to recommend the, uh, recommend the video for you to watch. So, I will see you next time.